This place feels... different. It's the same house, but... No, that's not possible. Hello? Cass, you need me on this, please. Here we go again. Need. Needing someone isn't a weakness, Cassie. Not for you, maybe. Needing is primal. Once you need something, you're not in control. You're desperate. And I desperately need you to be safe right now. And I'm not ashamed of it. I'll... Damn it. What the hell? Sorry, babe. Signal sucks. We'll pick this up later. Message send. And now we're at a car. The fuck is going on with this place? You chivalrous man, you. Don't you dare spend your last nickel on another throw. Save your strength for writing poetry, Shakespeare. Now hand me the baseball. I'm winning you that, Teddy. <laughs> I asked Serge for his autograph. And then his phone number. I wrote it right on the ball. <laughs> Be nicer to him. Jean? Jean, rise and shine, soldier. Your Betty Bird's made your favorite sausage and biscuits. Wait. Breakfast? Oh God, what happened to him? Jean. You've barely touched your plate, my love. Go on, have some more. Your body needs the vitality for action. Can she see him? Now, sweetheart, don't you fret. I'll find that gun lickety split. No soldier worth his salt ought to carry those shoddy government-issued pistols. Plastic handles? Give me checkered walnut any day. Okay, I got this. Last time I just had to figure out what happened to Felicia. This time I need to find that gun. Easy. Gotta find the source of that. I simply must find that gun. I'm very proud to have my name and time on the girls' track banner, but I hold the best time overall. You've said to be grateful with what I have, but what I have is the school record. I'd like to formally petition to have my name sewn on there. I'm gonna need to get up in that attic. I guess I'll have to find something to pull that door down. Oh, I'm certainly trying to keep busy, dear. You should see how tidy my stitching has become. But I need more. I'm not the putter around type, you know. Come, let me show you what I've been studying.
Wait. Where am I? Mot de passe. Ah, uh, I'm sorry. English. Anglais. Real smooth, Cass. Maybe Delphi can help. Mot a passe. Password. <sighs> Time to get Sherlocky, Cass. Dearest Betty, when I was a child, the house unsettled me a bit too. It's always been a creaky, morose place with too many moths, but that's all. No voices had ever spoken to me, no visions ever assaulted my senses. The only ghosts I've encountered are out here overseas. But enough morbid talk. Your loving husband, Jean. Sake, where is that gun? Connecting to a live community user. Hey there, Cassie. Nice to meet you. I'm Nick. Just started using this app. Pretty cool, right? Anyway, happy to help. Just waiting for the image to come through. Okay, there it is. Looks like a lockbox. Oh, yeah, there's a little latch on the side there. Kind of hard to notice. Once you flip that, it should open. I'll be in your contacts now, so hit me back whenever. Okay. Connecting to a live community user. Hi! Again. <laughs> Got cat sitting for Fred, so I'll be here all day. Let's see, picture's coming in now. Yikes. Um, someone wrote the word Durham over and over on this mirror. Looks like it's written in lipstick. Weird. At least I hope that's lipstick. <laughs> oh, I need to get out more. Let me know if there's anything else I can help you with. Let's see, Daddy. I hope your dear old friend can help a gal out. Come on, Corporal Roger Del Rey, I'm counting on you. <clears throat> dear Mrs. Jean Martin, my dear, I remember your father well and am forever in debt to his many sacrifices in the name of freedom. He was a frank man, so you'll forgive me for being frank when I say that he'd roll over in his grave if he knew I put his sweet girl in the line of duty. What? Father would be proud of me. Back to the drawing board. 
Go get him, Betty. <sighs> that can't be good. I know this isn't real. It, it can't be. The house is warning me. It's telling me. I need to be the one to save you from the enemy. You don't belong over there. I do. When I find that gun, I am going over there. And there will be hell to pay! Felicia was paranoid about her baby. Is the house making Betty paranoid about what's happening to Jean overseas? Delphi. Text to speech. Chantal. Maybe this would work at the door. I'd love to slip into the cockpit of a twin beach. Hmm, thank you for your interest in the Women Air Force Service Pilots. Unfortunately, all our WASPs must have their pilot's licenses issued before the start of the war. Well, that's just foolish. I'm a fast learner and... Oh, well, no use crying over spilt milk. Once more onto the breach.
Chantal. is a war puts on a man gene so don't get all bent out of shape take whatever comfort you need i'm sorry i haven't found the gun yet but i'll get it to you no matter what i'm coming just you wait like a member of the family. She is the mother who nurtures you, the father who shows you right from wrong, and the brother who teaches you honor. They must have forgotten the little sister who pushes you toward greatness. Going to nursing school now? Now, Mother Stowaway is such a harsh word. I know. Father always said if I know. Father always said that the cargo holds are never policed. I j Yes. Alright, I promise. No, you do not need to come here. No, you do not need to come here. It's just. Since I found Father's gun, I... So she found the gun. Well, why the hell am I still here? of John Treebook. Oh, oh yes, the fellow from the local recruitment office. I'm sure they'll have something for me to do overseas. Hmm. Dear Mrs. Martin, we appreciate your numerous requests to be placed in the field, but believe me when I say the most action you'd see is from behind a desk. Excuse me? Well, I'm sure you're a top-notch typist, so why don't you come down to the boss to typing? I wonder what an itchy trigger finger would do to a girl's word per minute. Oh, cheer up. Betty, you'll get there yet.
Never read many books, just listen to father's war stories. Made me want to go out on an adventure of my own. Are they enough, Jean? Your books, do they make you feel alive? for your enthusiasm about organizing a neighborhood watch. I'm afraid your location puts you at a disadvantage, and you're all alone up there. I'm sure a nice girl like you could certainly help out at the women's club bake sales downtown. <sighs> no, I won't. I, I won't be deterred. Perhaps I could appeal again to Roger. He might listen to reason. Delphi, text to speech.
need anyone else to run the switchboards. How about this? Be a doll and take a few photos. There's a morale boost to beat the band. At night when I kneel to say my prayers, I rest my elbows on the hope chest you gave me on my 18th birthday. We're going to make a family someday, you and me, you'd said. dreams, Jean. And keeping them safe on our end. So you do your duty over there and we'll be right as rain soon enough. I am coming for you. I'm coming. I'm coming for you, Jean. Just a little longer, Jean. I know this isn't real, but the pain sure is. I keep hearing a German man's whisper in the wind. After months of trying to decipher something, anything, I heard the word Bosch. Little elbow grease at the library turned up a German dictionary. Bosch means forest. I am coming for you. I'm coming. I'm coming for you, Jean. girl, but these rotten sticks I keep finding are... <sighs> Enough to take the Lord's name in vain. Every time I clean, I find them, or, or one of those little ragdolls. Gene says he never saw the likes of them his whole childhood here. has been quiet. Yours forever, Betty. I wonder why she didn't send this. I should really check out that attic. Delphi, next 
his speech. Betty, I hope this letter finds you well. Echo Bluff must be lonely with you there alone. Have you heard from Jean recently? I wish I could be there but the work here at the Richmond shipyards is vital to the war effort. With Jean in the army that big house must be difficult for you to maintain. I pray every night for Jean. If he were to die over there I'm not sure if mother could handle it. According to the stories we hear at the shipyards the way captured soldiers are treated sounds like a fate worse than death. Indications are this will be a long war, but take comfort in your wonderful home. Love, Eddie. Practice, practice. You don't need fancy tools to disassemble your gun. Use the cartridge here as a screw. Yes, Jean, just like I showed you. Now let's get a stopwatch and have some fun. finally turned around. I received a phone call from the Silver Star Line and it turns out I won a trip to Europe. <laughs> I'll be boarding the flagship Silver Star next week and will soon be crossing the ocean to come find you. Hang tight. I will be on my way in no time. Faithfully, Betty. Morse Coke. I know this. Hang on a sec. Betty, I am coming home. Jean is coming? On my way home. Uh, honorable discharge. Love you. Shit, she can't get on that boat. He's coming back. That must be why she hasn't heard from him. I better find my way to that foghorn stat.
from my dream. <laughs> I can't wait to see the look on his face when he sees me. mean I solved it? Many of the sailors in town bought her herb sachets. I laughed at the notion of a man wanting to smell sweet, but then I was told they were for protection. Old Tully'd sworn that it was one of her sachets that kept his ship afloat in a wretched squall. He clutched it to his chest like a cross. That woman again. Again. Damn it. I didn't enter any phone booths or police boxes. <laughs> 